Welcome to the Vion Podcast. Today, we're diving into something maybe a bit hidden, uh, the resources powering the artificial intelligence you probably use every day. That's right. It's easy to think of AI as just virtual, isn't it? Totally. Like you ask it to summarize text or generate an image, maybe answer some weird question. Uh -huh. But have you ever stopped to think about, well, where those answers actually come from? What's behind the screen? Exactly. Because behind those seemingly simple interactions, there's a whole physical world whirring away. Every single query, every image, it all takes real stuff. Real stuff. Yeah, let's unpack that. We're talking yeah. about real world resources, things like um, energy, water even. Absolutely. Fossil fuels, maybe nuclear energy in some cases, mm -hmm. all feeding into this massive computing power that AI needs. It's kind of mind boggling when you think about it. These aren't just algorithms floating in the cloud. They run on, you know, vast networks of computers. Huge facilities. Yeah. Data centers packed with hardware. And that hardware needs power. Lots of it. Immense amounts. And that's where you start seeing the connection to, well, the environment. A lot of that power still comes from, you know, traditional sources that have an impact. OK, so let's break that down a bit. These data centers are energy hogs. Center. Pretty much, yeah. And all that computing generates a ton of heat. Right. Computers get hot, so they need cooling. Serious cooling. And sometimes that cooling involves water. A surprising amount of water, actually. Water? How much are we talking? Well, there are examples where a large data center's cooling needs drew, like a noticeable percentage of a whole town's water supply. Wow. Okay, that definitely puts a different spin on asking an AI for a poem or something. It does. It connects that digital request right back to tangible, physical resources. And it's not just running the AI day to day, is it? Uh, I heard that training these big AI models takes an incredible amount of energy. Oh, absolutely. The training phase is particularly intensive. We're talking about computations on a massive scale. So much so that the carbon footprint, you know, it's like driving a car for thousands of miles or even more. It can be, yeah. The emissions from training just one of these large language models can be equivalent to um, hundreds of thousands of miles driven by a gasoline car, depending on the model and the energy source. It's significant. That's Yeah, staggering is the word. It really is. And it brings up this interesting point, right? AI itself is being looked at as a tool to help combat climate change for environmental modeling and things like that. Huh. So there's a kind of paradox there. Sort of, yeah. It's a powerful tool, no doubt, but its own environmental cost is something we absolutely need to factor in. It makes you think about, well, how should we be using it? Right. Are we using all this power for, you know, genuinely useful applications or sometimes just frivolous requests? That's the core question, really. Responsible AI usage. Okay. Focusing that power where it provides real human benefit. So just to recap for everyone listening, We've kind of scratched the surface here on the significant resources, the energy, the water needed for the AI that's becoming mm -hmm. such a big part of our lives. Mm -hmm. And seeing that the environmental cost from the data center energy draw to the cooling demands, it's a really crucial thing to consider. Definitely. And thinking about that responsible use, as you said, yeah. maybe focusing AI on the big problems rather than just uh generating cat pictures on demand though cat pictures are nice they are nice but perhaps there's a balance to be struck you know it's yeah. something for you the listener to mull over how we can best harness this technology thoughtfully absolutely lots to think about there well that's all we have time for today stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come right here on the Vion podcast